Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Fem Design. This tutorial will be focusing on the steel bar design, which means that we will be looking at the design of uh, elements like beams and columns. And in this tutorial, we will be focusing on the column part. We will be taking a little look at the steel design tab and we will look at the uh, different calculations and parameters that are available there. We will be looking at the design group and auto design and manual design. And I will mention a few words about buckling and we will take a look at the detailed results. So if we go into fem design, we can see that I have one model here and I will design the steel columns. But uh, before we do that, let's go into steel design tab and uh, take a look at the different options that we have here. Compared to the reinforced concrete design, we have not the configure calculation uh, here because all settings will be done under the uh, specific design. We have the uh, design of steel bars and we have the shell model of the steel bar design and this will be covered in another tutorial. We will have the buckling length and this is an option that if I start it we can actually set the buckling length of steel elements. This is only valid for first order theory and uh, it will only be used in first order theory because in second order theory, calculation will actually look proper deflection of the columns. We have the possibility to set the buckling length in the stiff direction and the weak direction and also lateral torsional and shear buckling can be set here. These columns, they are set to one by default, but it is possible to select one of the four different Euler modes or you can actually set the uh, beta factor to whatever you like and it is also possible to change the properties of a specific column so I can set this for instance to 0.7 if you would have any object actually connecting to this column, that object will be uh, embracing the column in that point. You have the possibility to add uh, steel bar stiffeners and this is done for the uh, design of the bar. This is uh, most likely used for beams, I-beams and so on. We have the design calculation parameters and if I select that one and I select the column, we can see that uh, the parameters are that the maximal distance between the calculated sections should be 0.5 meters. And the calculation will consider second order theory if the uh, second order analysis has been performed. We have the design groups and with the design groups I can actually group up a few columns and uh, all these columns will have the same uh, dimension afterwards. So if I have a corner or I name it corner and I give it an appropriate color, I can select the uh, columns that I want to be in this group. So let's say that I choose these six columns for this group. This will design all the columns in this group and give them the same cross-section. If I don't group it up, then they will be designed individually. And I will now perform a calculation. So I go in and I select the finite elements that should be used. And it's preferred to use the fine elements. I select the load combination and in the design calculation, I will just see that it is based on analysis of the load combinations. It is advised to use the check all structural elements instead of auto design in the first time you actually do this calculation. And that is because the auto design will just design all the columns for 100% and it is better to see if they are designed above or much below the cross sections that you have uh, been entered here. So let's say 
that I select the design calculation and I select OK. Now when I have calculation being performed, there are a few more buttons that I like and one of them is the auto design and the other is the manual design. If I would now choose the auto design, I have the possibility to look at the properties of a column. So if I select the properties of the corner column here, we can see that we have a list of all the cross sections and if I would now use design part then uh, the program would find the column that actually best fits the criteria for 100% uh, utilization and here it is possible to uh, let's see, to actually choose the whole steel section library and the design building for that but that would just mean that uh, the program will be going through a lot of elements here and try to find the best one and uh, this is something that takes quite a long time so um, go in and just either choose the cross sections that you want or uh, want the program actually be uh, designing for I could for this column for instance go in and unselect all elements and just see if the program should select a few of these columns and let's take that one and that one and just to be on the safe side a really stiff one as well now i can with the design button get the utilization window and here I can see all the uh, individual columns and their uh, percentage and the applied profile and the applied profile means the profile that the uh, calculation has been performed with but if I go in and look at my corner group for instance it contains these six columns and the most utilized is the 191928 with 1.1. 1 .1. If we take a look in the model, we can see that's the one that is flashing and that uh, has a utilization of 22%. I can now select the group, I press design, and as you can see, the applied profile is 100 times 100 times 8. If I select design, it actually suggests a profile of 80 times 80 times 3 and that would most likely give a utilization of 91%. This is not the whole truth because the program actually uses old profiles that load and stiffnesses so we need to recalculate in order to uh, see what it is the percentage and we can see that it's now 91% so I go into apply design changes and recalculate because the blue profiles are not yet properly inaugurated in the program or in the model. So we need to accept the changes and uh, recalculate the model to see uh, what the utilization for this column would be like. Now take a check and uh, look at this column. It is now the utilization of 72% because we reduced the um, cross-section which means that it gets weaker and a weak column doesn't attract as much loads so the loads are being transferred to stiffer parts of the element so this gets less load and uh, less utilization so it might take a few turns to actually do this calculation but it is rather quick it is also possible to do the manual design and with manual design i can go in i can select a column let's take this one for instance and with this column we can see here I can go in and actually set the uh, uh, profile that I want to use. 
So I can go in and set it to EKR 100 to 100 times 4. And yeah, here is a possibility to go into the uh, cross section library. And I just say check and uh, oh, yeah. To apply the design changes first. And now we can go in and check and see that, uh, yeah, this column is not really appropriate. So, what more do we have? Yeah, we can see the steel bar utilization result and that is available from the display result bar utilization and I select the maxima. It is possible to set numeric values. Now well, that was a big setting. So let's set the size to something a little bit better. Is possible to uh, get the utilization in the columns like this. It is also possible to use uh, the detailed result and I can select one column and I would get the calculations being performed for that column according to Eurocode 3 and uh, we get them presented quite nicely uh, and it's possible to follow the calculation as well and in the end here we have the uh, utilization graph where we can see the uh, column from the start point to the end point and the start point is very often in the bottom and we can see that this particular column has about 20% utilization. As for the groups the um, result would be looking a little bit different. Let's see, we have the corner here. Here it is now possible to see the group corner, maximum of group members and the maximum of load combinations. And here we can see that uh, as for the shear resistance, yeah, that was very small, but still the worst bar is the 084 in the end here. If we take a look at the normal capacity, the worst in this group is 928.1.1. And as for flexure buckling, it's also the 191.928. For um, lateral torsional buckling, it's the 192.084. So the calculation actually performs all the calculations and just shows the worst one in each case. As for the summary, we can just see the uh, maximum utilization of the uh, group here, or of each bar in the group. The uh, options that we have in the top left corner, we can actually select all the groups. Now I only have one group and I can choose the uh, unique members in each group, I can go in and select uh, each member and I can select the maximum of the whole group. I can, let's see, go in and look at the group corner, but I specifically go in and look at the 820.1.1 and I get the results for that column. And as you can see, if it is okay, the results turn green, but if I recall correct, I had one member that was not okay, and then it says that uh, this is not okay, and the check here turns red. It is also possible in these display options of this result to uh, go in and hide all unrelevant verifications, and that means that uh, 
yeah, the shear stress calculation for this particular profile might not be relevant, so I can hide them. And it's also possible to hide all the details in the calculation, and I only get the last check to show up here. And even from here, I can choose the auto design for this column. I just choose the VKR profile and uh, the program would suggest 90-90 times 3.6. So that concludes this tutorial.